Welcome to the video. My name is Jay Yudlovsky, and today we're going to be talking about how to create an EQ preset in DaVinci Resolve. So let's get into the video. So if you're like me and you use the same microphones over and over again for your videos, it would be helpful to have a preset for your EQ. This way you don't have to go in and reinvent the wheel every time that you bring your audio into DaVinci Resolve. And if you're not sure how to adjust your EQ and make your audio sound even better, click up here and I'll put a link to a video that I did on exactly how you use the EQ and how you can make your audio sound even better. So let's jump over to DaVinci Resolve and I'm gonna show you how to save an EQ preset. All right, here we are in DaVinci Resolve. I'm in the Fairlight tab. And as you can see here, I have two audio tracks, one from my 5D Mark IV and another one from the Blue Yeti. So the 5D Mark IV audio track is just so I can line up my audio from the Blue Yeti, which I record in GarageBand. So how do you save a preset for your EQ? So I've already gone ahead and created an EQ that works good for me uh, for the Yeti. So I wanna save that as a preset. In order to do that, you come up to Fairlight at the top and you come down to presets library. Now I wanna save an equalizer preset. So over here, filter by, you can save all these different kinds of presets. I wanna save an equalizer preset. Next, you select the track that you wanna save the preset from. So mine is on the blue Yeti track. I'm gonna select Yeti. Now I can come down to the bottom of the window here, click save new, and then it's gonna allow me to name it. So I'm gonna call it Yeti mic two and click OK. And then there you go. You have your preset here in your equalizer preset library. So how do you use it? So you want to select the track that you want your EQ preset to be applied to. So I'm going to select 5D Mark IV. Just for an example here, I wouldn't use this EQ on this track, but just for an example. So you can see my EQ over here is flat. So to apply my preset, I come up to Fairlight Presets Library. And I want to make sure that it's filtered by equalizer presets. And over here, I wanna select the track that I wanna apply the preset to. In this case, I wanna do it to the 5D Mark IV track. I'm gonna select Yeti Mic 2 and come down and click Apply. And you can see it changed the EQ here for us. They actually match each other now, which makes sense since that's the preset that we saved. And now you're all set to go. You have the EQ preset applied to your track and then you can make your adjustments from there, but you don't have to reinvent the wheel and redo the EQ each time you bring your audio track into DaVinci Resolve. All right, so there you go. That's how to save an EQ preset. And I uh, hope this video was helpful. Hope to speed up your workflow a little bit. And if you're into photography, Photoshop, Lightroom, and even a little bit of video and video editing, including DaVinci Resolve, consider subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next one.